You have spoken and we listened. In the last few weeks, our developers have been working around the clock to release 12 new features and updates that are already live that you can already start taking advantage of right now on AutoDS. Watch this quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, glad to have you here today. My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, this is something that many of you guys have been waiting for. 12 new features and updates. I will be going over each and every one of them. So let's waste no more time and get right to it. One second before that, if you have not done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. Now, having said that, let's go ahead and get started with these 12 new features and updates starting with the first one we've got a brand new product importer so let's go ahead and take a look on the AutoDS platform which you guys are very familiar with i'm going to click on add products on the left side only this time instead of opening this window for the multiple products or stores importer this is what you guys have been used to this time you are seeing three different options so if i click on add products you'll have a single product uploader multiple products or multiple stores which you guys have been used to up until now and the AutoDS finder which is also there the difference is the single product importer so if i click on that you'll see that in this section i can only add one product to one store and this way the importer will do it much faster for anyone who simply wants to import a single product so let's do one example i'm going to take this product from amazon so we can copy the whole url or we can just copy the asin it really doesn't matter which is the product id and I'm going to paste it on the single product uploader. Then I'm going to click on edit now quick, but I have another option to publish it directly to my store if I do not want to optimize this product and simply import it directly to my store in just a couple of seconds. So that's how quick it is to import products directly to your store. But if I do want to edit it now, I'm just going to click on edit now quick. Of course, I'll see that my supplier source is correct and the region and any advanced option that I would wanna have. Now you'll see how quick it is to start editing any product and while i just saw, said those few words in those couple of seconds the product editor has already opened up and i can already start optimizing this product so it really took just a couple of seconds on the clock and that's the biggest advantage of this new product importer so here i can go with the rest of the optimization process and of course at the end import it to my store then we've got the multiple products or multiple stores importer which is what you're used to so here you can add all of the URLs or all of the buy IDs, separate them with a line break and add more and more products. Or you can go with the CSV uploader if you're using the AutoDS extension and just simply grab all of the products that you see on your supplier's page on the search field, extract them to a CSV file and import that CSV file right here. That's if you wanna add hundreds to even thousands of products to your store in a single click but that is not a new update so let's let's leave that on the side for now we've also got the auto ds finder that is the same as it's always been but you can also get to it quickly by clicking on add products and auto ds finder but the main point here is the single product importer is working very very fast as you just saw in my previous example so that is update number one the second update is the grab all details feature everyone that's been with us on v1 has asked for this feature to also work on v2 and now the feature finally works so if you have a product on your store and you want to switch it with a different product you can now do that and it'll grab all of the new products details from your supplier's website and update it on your listing. And this is especially good for anyone dropshipping on eBay. You have a product that sold really well and you wanna keep the sales history that you had there. In order to keep it, you have to switch it with a different product and keep the listing without relisting or without deleting it. So now it is possible, let me show you how that's done. What I'm going to do is head to my products page and here we have this product, this notebook over here. Now, let's say I had a really good selling history here and I want to switch this product with another one so that I will keep my selling history. The product will be optimized on Google search engine, on eBay search engine, and it'll simply work really well right from the start. So what I'm going to do is click here to edit. Now it opened the item editor in a new tab. Next, I'm going to click on these three dots right over here. Then I'll click on re-grab product details. Now it's asking me, what is the new product details that you want to add instead of this one? So what do you want to overwrite the product with? So let's go with that same product that we just saw on Amazon. So I'll just copy the product's ID. Once again, you can copy the whole URL or just a product ID, whatever is more comfortable for you. 
I'm just going to go with the product ID and enter the buy URL or the product ID right here. The supplier is Amazon. The region is the United States. Of course, you can override it with any one of our 25 supported suppliers. If you just click on this drop down menu, you can see all of them. And of course, in any region. So you can overwrite your products with any supplier that you want with a product from any other supplier in any other region. Now I'm going to click on update. And in just a few more seconds, all of the new products details are going to overwrite the product, this notebook that we're seeing over here. Let's just give it a couple of seconds and let that load. And there we have it, just a few seconds later, the same eBay destination ID with a different Amazon ASIN. So this product has successfully overwritten the one that we had before, and that is how we can use the re-grab product details feature to grab all details on an existing product on the v2 version of auto ds once again many of you have asked for this so now it's available and quick reminder if you guys want to see new features or upgrade existing features and keep the developers working for you guys as we've been doing up until today simply click on the circle icon right up here then you'll have an option to click on feature request which is this button right here and here you can simply request whatever you want to see on AutoDS. This is where we're getting all of your ideas from. And then we're moving it to the plan section for the developers in progress and live once we have it up and ready. Like the grab all details in V2, which I just went over. The third update is that for all of you guys who are selling on eBay, you can now cancel your orders directly from AutoDS without having to log into your eBay account and it will synchronize with your eBay store. Of course, the synchronization is optional and you can choose whether you want it to also cancel the order on eBay or not. Let's head over to the order section and here I have an order that's in status ordered. Now let's say I want to cancel this order. I wanna cancel it because the customer asked me to cancel it for whatever reason. So what I'm going to do is, assuming of course that the supplier will also allow us to cancel the order and we'll also get our refund, we're going to change the order status to canceled and as you can see, I have an option if I would like to also cancel the order on eBay. If I don't have it toggled in, the system will simply cancel the order on the AutoDS system and keep it alive on eBay. But if it is mutually canceled, I have no problem with my supplier. I also got the refund from my supplier side. I will also cancel the order on eBay. Then eBay will send the refund to the customer without having me to do it myself. Then of course, you'll need to choose your reason for canceling. Just make sure that it's not because you accidentally ran out of stock or that your product is accidentally damaged because that will not do a good job on your seller's metrics. Make sure that the transaction is mutually canceled and then go ahead and click on update. Then it will cancel the order also on eBay and once again, save you that time. The next feature that I wanna show you guys is the new order search feature. We have added more functions to the order search page so that you can see in more detail on what you want to search. Let me show you an example. Let's go to the orders page and here you can see a whole bunch of orders that I have on one of my stores. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for this product ID for this item ID that I have on one of my Shopify stores. So I'm going to take this, copy that and paste it right over here on the search. So this way I'm searching for all of the products that sold with this sell ID from Shopify. And as you can see here, it found the product from the products page, and it also found two orders from this product. But not only that, we can also see who those orders belong to. So one is for, from a buyer called Jane, and the other is from a buyer named Daniel. So this way you can see that you have more results and you can actually differentiate between the different orders that you have all from the search function. The next update that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the profit calculation. It is now much more accurate, taking a few things into consideration. The first being your total fee that you have set for each product. So for this example, for this order that I just brought up, we have 19% fees. If for example, I bring that down to 13%, then you will see that my profit increased to $2.96 from the former $2.48. So one thing that affects your total profit is what your total fees are. The next is the tax. So if you're paying now, let's say 50 cents for tax, you'll see that my profit just went down to 198 instead of 248. And of course the buy price. So now the AutoDS system is taking all of those fields into consideration when calculating our total profit, which means that now it is simply much more accurate. The next update that I wanna show you guys is that you can now open the item editor from the orders page. Let's see an example from one of the orders. So from the orders page, I simply click on one of the orders and here you can see a link edit product. All I have to do is click on that link and it'll open the item editor 
for that specific product. So I won't have to search for that product using the search field on top. Now I can simply open the item editor for every product that I have on my orders details page by once again opening up the orders details and clicking on the edit product link. The next feature that I wanna show you guys is that we have now frozen the top row on the orders page and on the products page and on the drafts page so that when you guys scroll down, you'll be able to see exactly what column you're looking at. Let me show you, of course, the example. So here we are on the products page. What I'm going to do is simply scroll down. And as you see, the top menu up here has been frozen so we know exactly what column we are looking at. That's just one more thing that we're doing to improve the user interface. So once again, if you guys have more suggestions, more things, more updates that you guys wanna see here regarding the UX, UI, and any feature and benefit that you still wanna see on AutoDS, simply go to the internal voting system that I just showed you guys in this video and vote for the next feature. But right before you vote, run a search for that feature and make sure that it doesn't exist already. If it does, simply upvote it instead of creating a new one. The next new feature that I wanna show you guys is that you can now add your products dimensions inside the variant settings. Let me show you what I mean. So here in the products page, I'm going to open the item editor for one of the products. Let's say these glasses over here. So here's the item editor. We're in the variants column. I'm going to click on one of the variants. Then I'm going to click on the general column. And as you can see here, we have a height, width, and length. This is an item specification that many buyers want to see and many marketplaces want you to add when you're adding your listings. So we have added it now to the variant settings. So definitely take advantage of that. And remember that AutoDS is automating your product's dimensions. But if for any reason the automation didn't go through and you're seeing 000, it may happen in products that are bundled together. You'll have to fill that in for yourself. And you can also do it in the item specifications in cases where you have more than one item dimension. But in most cases, it's going to be automated for you. And this is where you can edit that section. The next update that I wanna show you guys is that we have moved the watermark to the top left of the image which is much better than the formal top right where it used to be let me show you a quick example even though this one is self-explanatory so if you guys are working with watermarks you'll be able to see it in your images section so let me just open up any image let's say this main image over here I'm going to click on add watermark set this one as my default watermark then I'll set it again and here we have it right here on the top left so that's a much better place to have it and that's another change that we have made recently the next thing that I want to talk about is the customer support management system which is working much faster now that is because we are not waiting for every hour scan to update your customers messages now as soon as you get a message it will show up live on your customer support section and you won't have to wait for the hourly scan to see it so we have fixed the speed there and speaking of fixing speeds we've also made product importing when you only have one variant much much faster that is because up until now when you used to import only one product AutoDS would see it as variants and variants take a little longer to import now when you're importing just one product with one variation AutoDS is going to make it much faster because it sees it as a standalone product and not as part of a variation the last update that i want to talk to you guys about is once again something that many of you have been asking for from v1 to work also on v2 and now it does I'm talking about none other than the out of stock days filter on your products page. And this is one thing that really helps you guys analyze and track the performance of your listings, what's working well and what's not working so well. Let me show you how it works now on the V2 system, which is exactly like how it was on V1. So I'm going to go to my products page. And as you can see here, I've got the out of stock days. OOS days, which stands for out of stock. So this shows me which products I have out of stock on my store and how long it's been out of stock. So of course, when you have a product that's been out of stock for too long, it's becoming irrelevant on your store and it's simply collecting dust, you wanna switch it with another product. If you do not see the out of stock days, simply click on the customized display over here and you will be able to enable the column for the out of stock days right over here. You can also use it as a filter here, and this is where it works really well. If I scroll down, I will be able to find the out of stock days right here. So I'm going to click on that. And here you can select what products you have out of stock or telling the AutoDS system, show me what products I have out of stock that has been out of stock since after a certain date. So what products do I have out of stock after a certain date, for example, all of the products that went out of stock since the beginning of October 2021. Or you can say, what products do I have out of stock before a certain date? Or what products do I have out of stock not after a certain date? 
not before a certain date or what products do I have out of stock between a certain date. So you can play around with so many options and analyze your store in so many ways to really be able to optimize the efficiency of the products that you have in your store, what products have been out of stock for too long, remove those slow movers from your store and replace it with products that will sell for a profit. That is it for the 12 updates that just came out on AutoDS. I hope that you guys will enjoy these features and take advantage of it for your own sales and profit. Happy dropshipping guys and once again, go to our internal voting system if you guys want to see new features on AutoDS. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. Like this video and share it if you appreciate the value so that your friends and family can also learn about this wild and amazing world of dropshipping. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future videos.